Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this limit problem right here, and so let's begin. So the first step that I like to do is straight plug in and see if it works. So I'm gonna plug in zero for x, and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get an answer. So let's try it. I get a zero for the numerator divided by the square root of zero plus 16 minus four is equal to, so the numerator is zero divided by so 0 plus 16 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4, and we get 4 minus 4, this piece right here, which is going to be 0. So we get 0 divided by 0. And whenever we get dividing by 0, that's a major red flag, that we have to kind of manipulate this original equation to try to solve this problem. And so what I'm going to do is multiply by the conjugate. And also in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist, I just solve random limit problems. And the other playlist, I categorize the problem. So if you're looking for a particular type of problem, it's going to be in one playlist and a bunch of random problems will be in another playlist. So when I say multiply by the conjugate, so right here is a negative. So the opposite is an addition. So what we're going to do is rewrite this as the square root of x plus 16 plus 4, um, the opposite of this piece. And I'll put parentheses, and I'll put a parenthesis around this piece. Then I'll have divided by the same thing, because this divided by the same thing is just 1, so we're not making any actual change. OK, at this point, our next step is to expand and multiply. So we're going to get the limit of x approaching 0, parentheses. Um, in the numerator, we have x times parentheses, the square root of x plus 16, and then we have a plus 4, close parentheses, divided by. Now, when we multiply these two pieces, we have the square root of x plus 16 times the square root of x plus 16, and so it gets canceled, so we get x plus 16. Now we do this piece times 4, so we get 4 times the square root of x plus 16. However, we also got to do negative 4 times this piece, and that's going to be negative 4 times the square root of x plus 16, so it cancels. Now we have negative 4 times 4, which is going to be negative 16. Close parentheses. Next step, we can kind of clean this up a little bit. So we have the limit of x approaching 0, parentheses. Um, in the numerator, we'll stay the same, so x times parentheses, square root of x plus 16 plus 4, close parentheses, divided by now here we have 16 minus 16, so it gets canceled, and our denominator is just x, close parentheses. At this point we have x divided by x, so x divided by x is just 1, so it cancels. And now we can rewrite this one more time, limit of x approaching 0 for the square root of x plus 16 plus 4. And now we can try plugging in and see if it works. So if I plug in a 0 here, I get the square root of 0 plus 16 plus 4. And we get the square root of 16 is 4. So we get 4 plus 4, which we're going to get 8. So our final answer is 8. And that's all we need to do for this problem. But again, check the playlist in the description box for other videos.